Hello and welcome. I would like to talk to you about another product of Metro Camel Wayman, MCW of Birmingham. Now when somebody says MCW, you probably either think of underground trains, the bodies on the early Leyland Atlantians or the Metro bus. But in the early 1980s, MCW decided to enter the British coach market. The result was the single-decker Metro liner coach. Powered by the Cummins L10 engine, it was a very angular, modern-looking design for the time and was intended to compete with the continental imports that were starting to flood in from Europe. So, Jake, you say, why are you telling me all this? Well, there was only 21 of these wonderful coaches built. And if you think that makes them quite rare in the 1980s, obviously now in the 2020s, they're even rarer. And us at Southern County's Omnibus Collection, working with Friends of the East Kent, have been offered a former East Kent example. Now, East Kent was actually quite a big user of Metroliner coaches, buying 11 new ones as well as accumulating a few second-hand ones and also had some of the following model, which was the Highliner, which was a slightly higher floor single-decker coach version, not to be confused with the double-decker Metro Liner coach, which was used by National Express. So the coach in question is former FKK846Y, which was new in May 1983. Numerically, it was only the fourth Metro Liner coach built. Given the fleet number 8846, it launched the type at that year's coach show at Brighton, originally delivered in National Holidays livery, but in October 1986 when East Kent was privatised, 8846 later gained the maroon and cream coach livery. During her time with East Kent, she was very much involved with the prestige end of the coaching work. Day trips, continental tours and holidays away by coach. When withdrawal came for 8846, she ended up with GTS coaches of Blackwood, in whose livery she's seen today. Now at some point 8846 has had her front end rebuilt and has lost her asymmetric windscreen, which was such a design feature of the Metro liner coaches. But aside from that, she is actually quite original and fairly solid. Her Cummins L10 engine works and she drives. Now this doesn't mean that she's ready to hit the road straight away because she would require a full restoration to make sure she's safe and everything's legal. But by the looks of it, it would be a reasonably straightforward restoration. And it would ensure that this very rare coach would survive into the future to show others what coaching in the 1980s was actually like. We've started a crowdfunder page to try and raise money to help go towards the repatriation and the restoration of 8846. She's located just north of Birmingham and we'd idealistically like to bring her back home to Kent, which would involve a low loader or a recovery truck. Then there's the storage costs of 8846 as well, which runs to just under £1,000 a year. With all this in mind, we are looking at raising £3,000 and that would cover all the cost of the transportation and a year's worth of storage and leave us some money to start on the restoration work. I'd be really grateful if you could contribute towards this worthy project. No matter how small, it will all help and it will all go towards 8846. And there are other ways to help us as well. If you have a low loader or know someone with a low loader who could give us a very good price for bringing 8846 back to Kent, we'd like to hear from you. In the meantime, as I said, every little bit helps. So we would really appreciate you donating to this worthy cause. We've also been offered the loan of 8855, which is an MCW Highliner coach dating from 1988. Again, new to East Kent. So if we could find storage and a little bit of extra cash left over, we would like to put it towards this as well. But the main emphasis is saving 8846. This one would just be a bit of a bonus. So thank you very much for watching this video and please, if you can spare anything at all, put it towards this worthy cause. It's very much appreciated.